hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to discuss the latest midterm papers of fourth semester right i've already covered the previous one and they are available on my channel go to playlist and here you see past papers and they are also they have also been uploaded on my blog right go there bs english past papers pdf and video lectures from here you can download the pdfs as well but these are the latest ones that i am going to discuss and i'll provide you uh, them as well so i'll cover the final term in separate videos so have patience and stay connected with my channel so we are going to discuss all of them so begin with introduction to entrepreneurship question number one part a an opportunity is a favorable set of circumstances that create a need for a new business describe the ways to identify an opportunity and also mention the essential qualities of an opportunity and part b is a workable business plan is must before startup of any business and it is called a selling document for a new firm briefly explain its importance and its contents so uh, i my uh, emphasis should be on uh, giving examples right whatever you say in your answer give relevant examples that is must that is very important right so for example if you talk about opportunity so you just give examples of the businesses that have been uh, created to cover that opportunity gap in the marketplace right many many examples are given in your book that you are following that is an amazing book right and uh, many examples and case studies are available and on that book so business plan that is very important in the contents of business plan right you you have to remember them and the crisp or the main point just remember the main point and crisps are the crux of the business plan right so it is very important it is a selling document and uh, you know that when when you go for funding or just go for seeking an investor you show them your business uh, plan right so they read it if it is convincing obviously they'll they will invest in your business so it is called that's why it's called selling document right you have to sell your business to investor and question number two is there are many reasons why passion is important for any entrepreneurs entrepreneurship and similarly there are many inhibitors to discover creative discourage creative decision making compare or and differentiate both of them right so passion it has been discussed in detail in your book what is passion why passion is important right the six reasons why passion is important and what are the inhibitors and facilitators of creative decision making and uh, you have to compare it and differentiate it as well and part b is the competitors play an imperative role in the analysis of our own industry so keeping various forces in focus explain the role of competitors along with examples so competed in under the industry analysis come the competitor analysis so that's very important you know before setting up any business you have to analyze your competitors their strengths their weaknesses and the services and products they are providing so knowledge of your competitors is very important and uh, this is introduction to research methodology question number one write short notes on the following characteristics or qualities of a good researcher or research topic i've covered all the topics of research methodology right they are available there for more details use just go there right they are my own notes so and second one is inductive and deductive reasoning in research how deductive and inductive approach or reasoning is used in research methodology right and question number two is differentiate between qualitative and quantitative 
research designs and explain how would you select either of the research design if you were to conduct a research study right so you have to differentiate qualitative and quantitative uh, research design on the basis of different parameters right the variables and all of these many different uh, paradigms or the parameters and uh, how, how you can choose the research design whether it should be qualitative or quantitative so it obviously depends on data collection tools and techniques right your data whether it's numerical or it's, it's qualitative and this is literary prose paper question number one write a note on charles limbs restraint pathos and prolixum prolixum humor and drawing your illustration from his essays so the pathos right pathos humor and pathos the mix of humor and pathos is uh, characteristics of charles Lim, you know and how he used pathos in his essays especially in his uh, essay dream children or poor relation or anyone i've already discussed this uh, topic as well so you better consult it as well question number two is bacon's essay or essays are compendiums of worldly wisdom and reflect his deep understanding of human nature elaborate with reference to his essays so bacon's as his in his writing style we see aphorism wisdom right so how it reflect deep understanding of human nature you have to discuss in the light of his essays giving examples and quotations from his essays and romantic and victorian poetry my favorite subject right so question number one critically explain the following stanza with reference to the context part a already we receive but what we give and in our life alone does nature live or is her wedding garment or her shout and would we out behold a fire worth than that inanimate called world aloud to the poor loveless ever anxious crowd or from the soul itself must issue forth a light a glory a fair luminous cloud envelop enveloping the earth and from the soul itself must there be sent a sweet potent voice of its own birth of all sweet sounds so these are taken from Coleridge right his uh, dejection and odd so part two is if i were uh, i'll provide you my solve past paper of uh, romantic and victorian poetry because i have scanned that one and uh, luckily i got the highest in my class i'll share with you as well and part two is if i were a dead leaf thou mightest be a if i were a swift cloud to fly with the a wave of plant beneath thy power and share the impulse so these are uh, taken from the or to west wind you know and question number two is what are the limitations of william wordsworth theory of poetry do you think he was about to do justice with his own theory in his poetry and elucidate with answer your answer with reference from the poems that you have read so obviously words were theory of poetry as i've already discussed right and he just uh, give a new definition of poetry and poet and new uh, roles have been introduced in romanticism in romantic poetry by introduction of lyrical ballads right by uh, Coleridge and uh, wordsworth so he defined um, poetry the spontaneous flow of emotions uh, recollected in tranquility and how should uh, who should be a poet and he defined all of these roles and what should be the subject matter of poetry nature and all of these 
but he is not able to do justice with his own theory of poetry because he himself violated it, you know so i will share with you as well my answer and this is novel paper and question number one janestin with her masterpiece pride and prejudice introduce us to a uh, entirely new genre of love and romance keep that in mind critically examine the notion of love and romance by highlighting its socio-economical implications in the novel as you know that already novel was there but but it was diminished or in rough form or not that much popular but Jane Austen's work in the 18th century gave a new emergence to novel right especially her writing and uh, pride and prejudice that is included in your course right so it is a romance obviously a love story romance and you have to discuss it in detail right and uh, give illustration and examples quoting lines from the novel this is the way of attempting the question and uh, question number two is the theme of fact and fancy in hard times allow Dickens to contrast the harsh realities of Victorian Britain with a more romantic spirituality a richer existence the world of fact is epitomized by dr grant master grant grant grind whereas the world of fancy is explored through sesiju of discus obviously the fancy versus reality right fancy uh, imagination and fact versus fancy the ma most important theme in hard times right as you know that mr grad grind he was a believer of fact and the novel began with his words facts fact what i want is fact uh, teach those people fact nothing but facts so you may quote lines from the novel as well and uh, sissy you know she she belongs her father belonged to uh, uh, a circus right so she's got imagination a fancy so fancy and fact and fancy education they go side by side both are important and you have to discuss in this way so this is all about me hope you understand thank you for wa watching i'll provide you the pdf as well